This is part of my premium course, so if you like it, be sure to check out usefullaravelpackages.com. Okay, let's take a look at this comments package. This package allows you to easily implement comments in your Laravel app. Let's go ahead and take a look at how to use it. So before we get started, let me just show you around the app I have prepared here. So I have the auth scaffolding for Laravel set up. So you can log in and register. My database is set up. And I also have a few routes here. I have a posts route that just lists out all the posts. And I have two posts in here. And if you click it, it goes to the show method and it just shows the contents. So the idea is to add comments here. So this package makes it really easy. So let's go ahead and install it. So this composer require it as always. Okay, let's run the migrations. It creates a comments table where all your comments are stored. Okay, now it says to add the commenter trait to your user model. Okay, let's go to our user model and let's add that trait. So let's use it and add commenter here. Okay, now we have to add commentable to the model we want to use. And in our case, we're using a post model. So let's go ahead and copy this. Let's go into our post model. And let's use that. And let's use commentable. Okay. Let's publish the config here. Okay, and let's also publish the views, which you don't have to do, but if you want to customize it, you can do that. And same for migrations, but I'm not going to modify the migration, so we won't do that. Okay, so now we just have to add this to our view here. So in our case, that's, so let me just let me save this. Let me show you the show route, which is right here. So post controller at show. And all this does is pass in the post and show the show view. And believe it or not, all we have to do is paste that in and we have comments. So if I show you here, sorry, there should be a post and that's being passed in from the controller. There we go. So by default, this package requires you to log in, but there is an option to have guest posts so you don't have to log in. So let me just make a few users here. So I'll make one with my actual email because this package uses Gravatar. And you can see that when I make a comment here. Okay, so now I'm logged in. And let's go ahead and go back to that route. So posts one. And now you can see the form for entering a comment. Cool. And it also supports Markdown here. So let's add a comment. Goes. Let's add some markdown and let's submit it. There we go. There's our first comment. So it's using Bootstrap under the hood, Bootstrap 4. And when I did the auth scaffolding, it included Bootstrap 4, so everything looks nice here. And this doesn't look like it's being bolded, but it actually is. Yeah, so there's strong tags. You just have to style that appropriately. And like I said, my Gravatar is pulled from gravatar.com. You can edit and it uses Bootstrap's modal here. You see edit, you can update it. There we go, cool. Now you can also reply to comments. So if I log out of here, we should still be able to see that. But like I said, we have to turn on guest posts if you want to do that. But let me make another user and reply to this comment to show you that you can do that. So let's make another one called user. Okay, and let's go to that posts route. And let's go to first post. 
and you can reply to it. This is a reply to Andre. And you can see that it indents it here. OK, let me show you guest posting. So if you want to turn that on, go into the config. I believe it's called comments. And then it's somewhere here. There's also support for requiring approval for the comments. So just set this to true if you want. And here is guest commenting. So now if I set that to true, if I refresh this, actually let me log out. And go to posts. Then you can reply here. You just have to enter your name and email. Guest, guest at guest.com. This is a guest comment. Cool, submit, and that works. Now, if you're not using Bootstrap, we can easily modify this because we did publish the views. So for example, if I want this to be in descending order, so the latest post is on top. So right now the latest post is on the bottom, we can change that. So we go into the published views, which is in here somewhere, vendor, comments, not sure which one it is, but we'll look for it here. I think it's this one, comments. And here we go. So it's sort by created at, but we want sort by descending created at. So this is just a collection. So this is a method on the collection and that will change the order. So this should be on top because this is the latest post. Okay, cool. And say we wanted this form on top. So that kind of makes sense. Right after the post, we want the form. So let's add that. So here, we would just change, where's the form here? So yeah, we would just move this on top. So this entire block here, move this on top. So right before the UL, and now the form should be on top. Cool. And again, you have full control over this. So if you're not using Bootstrap, you can just modify this for your own classes and make it look the way you want relative to your brand. So this package was designed for a traditional server rendered application where the form posts back to the server and we have a full page refresh. However, it is possible to use the database schema so you can make it a JavaScript component. So it just makes an Ajax request and it doesn't make a full page refresh. That requires a bit more work. Let's see if we can create the beginning stages of using a JavaScript component. So I am going to run my watcher first. So npm run watch. And then I am going to make a new JavaScript component. So JS, actually let's make it here first. So I'm going to call it comments list. And I'm going to combine the form and the comments just because this is an example and I don't want to do state passing state around here. Okay. So let's make that comments list dot view and let's make a template. Let's say comments go here, front end, and let's go into our post blade. Sorry, it's show dot blade. And let's put it right above here. Let's put a margin on it and say comments list. Okay, let's see if this renders. Okay, there it is. So the first thing I want to do is just grab the comments. So let's go into our component here and let's make a script tag export default and let's just make a mounted hook here and let's use axios.get and we're going to make this in a second so it's going to be posts and it's going to hard code it here just because this is an example and comments will grab all the comments from this post with id 1 and then let's grab the response 
and it's just console log response.data. See if we're getting anything. And let's make that route in our, it's going to do it in routes web. I'm just going to make a call back here. And I think I called it posts slash post. Okay. And slash comments. And we have to grab the post. And let's make sure to import post. Use app post. And all we have to do is return this post's comments. So this is a, this relationship is already set up by the package. So we're just using that. And let's see if we are getting the posts here. If we open up this and yep, looks like we are cool. So let's just dump it out on the screen here. So back to our comments list. I'm going to need some state here. So data return, let's say comments this is an empty array. And here we can do comments. This comments is response data. And here we can just loop over them here. So do v4 say comments comment in comments and the key is comment id let's also put a class on this margin and we just want to list the comment or show the comment so comment i believe it's just comment sorry not php comment dot comment is that right? We'll see. Okay, so there you see the comments. Okay, obviously you would just style it like this, but again, this is just a quick example to show you how a JavaScript component would work. Now let's add the form. So I'm just going to put it in the same component just so I don't have to share state. And I'm going to put it right here. The action doesn't matter submit dot prevent equals submit comment and let's add the rest of the form here so this will be where the comment goes let's make it a text area and say comment id is comment and let's give it five rows okay and let's wrap that in a div so it's on its own line and let's just give it a submit button. Submit. Make sure type equals submit. Okay. And also, let's put a V model on this so we can grab it and pass it through to the server. Comment. And let's add this to our data. Comment is empty. Okay. And let's also add that submit method. So submit comment. Is that what I named it? Yeah, okay. Let's do it. I'm just going to grab this and change it. It's going to be a post request. It's going to go to the same URL. Again, I'm just hard coding this one. And let's just see if this works. Actually, so this, will, this is what would happen if it did work. So you would push whatever's coming back, which is the comment we added to the list of comments we have here. But let's try this first. Just want to see if it works. And we have to obviously write the back end for that. So if you look at the comments config, then you'll see the controller here, somewhere down here, right here. So comments, comment controller. And you'll see the code for adding a comment. So let's just look for that. So it's this one. And if you go to the store method, you'll see all this code here. So we'll just use this as reference as we write the backend for commenting. So back to our web API. Let me just import the request. And I'm going to duplicate this and change it to the post 
what we're about to do posts okay and we need the request coming in here actually I forgot to do one thing in the view component we have to pass through the comment here so let's add that so let's pass it as comment and this dot comment okay okay back to our back end so I'm just gonna paste the code in here because I don't want this video to be about how to remake this comment package as a view component but this code is just like I said basically what this comment controller is doing here so you, you see it's associating, associating this model and here I'm just hard coding it here to the post because this is more configurable and just this is just an example so if I did this right we should be able to add a comment so I'm going to go back to my view component and I'm gonna hope that this works okay so if I did this correctly let's make this a bit smaller I'm gonna refresh so now here's the comments it should add to this if I did everything correctly hopefully it works and check the console too and it doesn't work and I'm sure you saw this this should be in a methods key methods okay cool let's try it again does it work so there you go it works you see the response there you see it added to the list of comments and if we refresh this this is the backend version so it should be on top there we go cool so yeah great package if you want to add comments to your site and you can see it's very configurable and you can even make a view component out of it if you wanted to